Temperatures are, uh, well, they're not bad this morning, but Kasha, you can certainly speak to that. How does it feel out there this morning? And by the way, just where are you anyway? Yeah. Okay, so we are at Lakeview Park in Oshawa, very close to the Oshawa Community Museum, which is said, Chris, to be haunted. We'll be talking about a little ghost hunting throughout the show today. Uh, but in the meantime, we're just steps from the water. So, of course, the winds are kicking up a little bit. It feels chilly. Temperatures in the GTA are ranging between 8 and 10 degrees. So, southern Ontario, uh, not so bad, really, but it, it feels closer to 7, though, with those winds. Shouldn't get too much warmer, though, today because of that cold front that we had come through yesterday, Chris. Yeah, that really stirred up the wind. Kasia, Kasia, we're not talking about frost this morning, so that's good mm -hmm. enough, but certainly no. not expecting 20 <laughs> degree weather today. I wish, I wish we were, Chris, but that thing called a cold front came through, unfortunately, dropped those temperatures like a rock. So today, our temperatures, yeah, in half. So 10 degree, 11 degree high for a lot of us in southern Ontario. Right now, though, nice and mild, really, compared to some of the mornings that we've been seeing. Temperatures are ranging between 6 and 10 degrees. It's 9 degrees here at Lakeview Park in Oshawa. Uh, but coming up in the show, I'm going to be getting chills, not necessarily from the weather, but perhaps from some ghostly activity. We'll be joined by television storm, or not storm hunters, we're so used to talking about storm hunting, ghost hunters as well. We'll also be talking about what cold spots are too. So a lot of weather connections when it comes to Halloween-esque things. Chris, that's coming up. All right, yeah, I was watching Halloween 2 last night. I'm now on deck, and uh, I want to find out from you, because we are talking about spooky <laughs> things today. What is your all-time favorite Halloween movie? Chris, this is going to be so anticlimactic. I don't watch any scary movies because I am way too affected by them so I'm a total wimp I wish I could tell you something something where temperatures drop really really to, to really cold you know levels you know there's some apocalyptic movie where suddenly it was cold that that's really scary to me it is not so scary right here we are in southern Ontario in Oshawa just by the lake where temperatures are nice and mild we're at about nine degrees it feels closer to seven with the winds and the winds they will be kicking up throughout the day they will be gusty so a gusty day but from gusty to gas Again, we're going to be talking about ghost hunting and how weather affects ghost hunting. And yes, I will be frightened <laughs> in the process as well, Chris. I would think so. If you don't like Halloween movies, uh, seeing it in real life, that's, that could be something. So Kasia Badurka standing by. So Kasia, we're not talking about snow in the uh, south, at least not yet, but in the uh, long range forecast, Kasia. Mm. If you think you it's don't like a little scary. On the... Yeah, does yeah. this, this flurry scare you, Kasia? <laughs> They do, they do. The possibility is there, Chris, as you know, for Southern Ontario to pick up some flurries on Halloween. So yes, that's pretty scary. But the good news is that the majority of that should be happening after trick-or-treat time. So that's great news. What's scarier to me right now is the possibility that this place, the Oshawa Community Museum, could be haunted. So when we come back, we're going to be talking to ghost hunters and talking about how weather affects the ghost hunting process. Right now, temperatures here, though, in southern Ontario are ranging between 6 and 9 degrees. It feels a little bit cooler with the winds, and the winds they will be picking up later into the afternoon, Chris. Be out of the west, so it won't be that southwest wind, the warm wind yesterday that drove the temperatures up. All right, so Kasia Badurka, you know, this weekend is uh, we fall back. You know, don't do what I did one year. One year, mm -hmm. uh, Kasia, I sprung back <laughs> and fell ahead, and I haven't been right since. Uh-oh. <laughs> Okay, so we'll remember we're all falling back, right? Which is a good thing. We get a little extra, a little extra sleep. Meanwhile, it's still dark, right? So I'm looking forward to you know the sun coming up a little bit earlier next week. And right now we come to you live from Lakeview Park, the Oshawa Community Museum, which is apparently haunted. So we're now talking to the paranormal experts about how weather affects ghost investigations. Very quickly, Ben, Sp ben Stacy, how does it affect the ghost hunt? Well, weather can affect the paranormal investigation in many ways. Uh, you have rain or wind that can create bangs and other noises. Uh, temperature changes can make buildings creak and groan. And you don't want to misinterpret any of those noises as potential ghosts or spirits. Uh -huh. Okay, words of wisdom. But in the meantime, we're going to be talking about what cold spots are. And that is not Mother Nature. That's coming up. But in the meantime, as you're stepping out in southern Ontario, temperatures are ranging between 8 and 9 degrees. It's relatively mild, Chris.
Oh, your turn. Kasia Bederka in Oshawa this morning. How does it feel out there? Well, not so bad, Chris. I mean, it's not as mild as it was yesterday. I wish I could turn back time. Temperatures are ranging in southern Ontario between 6 and 10 degrees. It's 9 degrees here. It feels a little cooler with the winds, and the winds they're going to be picking up. But we come to you live from the Oshawa Community Museum, which is apparently haunted. And when we come back, we're going to be talking about what cold spots are. And here's a hint. They use something called a K2 meter, the ghost investigators. And I feel a little bit like a ghostbuster here. Not, not to make light of it. Of course, we're getting into the spirit of Halloween, and what's even scarier is the fact that we could be picking up a flurry or so Halloween night. Chris, back to you inside. Our old spots, Kasia Bedurka, you've been ghost hunting this morning. <laughs> have you have you found it? Have you found one yet? <laughs> no, but I did find a cold spot. We'll be talking about that in a second. Chris, temperatures are around 8 degrees here in southern Ontario. Here by the lakefront, yeah, it's a little colder with the winds. Um, yes, cold spots. You know, it sends a chill down your back. We are joined by our friends from the Paranormal Experts Proof. What are cold spots, Brad Maven? Cold spots are generally thought to be a spot in a room where the temperature drastically drops. So people will call and say, you know, I went to go to this particular spot and it's much colder and all of a sudden, you know, they I can see my breath, for example. Mm -hmm. And it's not that, you know, if there are such things as ghosts, that they suck the energy out of a room yeah. and cause that area to be cold. Ooh, all right, we have a story coming up about this. We'll be talking to the psychic mediums as well. Stick around for that and, of course, your weather forecast. That's coming up. All right, Kasia Bedurka joining us now, and Kasia, you have been on a, uh, not a witch hunt, but a ghost bus this morning. <laughs> that's right. Not even a storm hunt. That's what we're used to around here, ghost hunting. That's right. We've been talking to the ghost hunters and talking about how weather affects investigations and how cold spots emerge as a result of ghosts, allegedly. And now this is a K2 meter, which uh, they use to measure electromagnetic fields, which are said to be affected by the ghosts as well. But you know what? You're better uh device would be your app on your smartphone if you're not watching us download the weather network app and temperatures right now it's eight degrees here in southern ontario a little chillier in oshawa and that's where we find kasha bedurka who uh, i tell you kasha i think you need the title ghostbuster mm -hmm. after your name now <laughs> <laughs> that's right. I was showing you the K2 meter. I'll show you that coming up throughout the show. Uh, that's basically to detect temperature uh, differences, cold spots, and whether or not there are ghosts around. So we're talking about that, and I'll be producing a story about this as well. We come to you live from the Oshawa Community Museum, which is said to be haunted as well, Chris. Uh, but there's another chill in the air, of course. The cold front came through, and now, yeah, the temperatures dropped like a rock. We're sitting at about 8 degrees still here in Oshawa. Oshawa and temperatures are not going to get much better throughout the day, so that's kind of scary to me. Yeah, you might think, was there a ghost in the bedroom? Oh, so, oh, the kids left the window open. So temperature from earlier today. It's a little chillier here in southern Ontario. Temperatures around 10, 11 degrees, and it's a little on the ominous side. Plenty of clouds. And speaking of ominous, getting into the spirit of Halloween, we come to you from the Oshawa Community Museum, where it's apparently haunted. That's right. We'll be talking about ghost hunting and the weather connection with that and what cold spots are and they're not necessarily created by Mother Nature. Stick around for that story and stick around for your weather story. That's up next. A cloudy and chillier day here in southern Ontario. Temperatures around 10, 11 degrees. But now we're talking about a different kind of chill related to the ghosts. We're now talking to paranormal investigator Brad Maven of Proof. Brad, what are cold spots when it comes to ghost investigations? Well, cold spots are a sudden drop in temperature in an area. So people will call us and say that I go into a certain part of my room and all of a sudden I can see my breath and I'm very, very cold. Ooh, okay. And that apparently is an indication of ghosts, right? We're going to be talking about that. We'll have a story about that coming up. Don't go anywhere. Back to you inside with your weather story. You have piqued my interest. Thank you very much, Kasha. I think it's a chillier day here in southern Ontario, but it's actually around seasonal and cloudy. And you know, there's another chill in the air. We're, of course, getting into the spirit of Halloween. And we've been talking about ghost hunting. Now, some people that say they're haunted or have been in haunted rooms, they talk about the temperatures being driven down. Psychic medium, we've got Linda Willette with us. Why is that? Why do people experience cold spots? 
partially it's because the spirit world wants to play with us and they want to let us know that they're around. So they will interact with the energy around us and draw the temperature down so you have a full awareness of that presence. Beautiful. Okay, interesting stuff. We have a story about this coming up. But in the meantime, back inside with your weather story. Ooh, thank you very much. The snow fences are up here at Lakeview Park in Oshawa. They're prepared for the changes of weather, but are you? Of course, Halloween is fast approaching. Are you ready for the possibility of a flurry or so? Well, the good news is that models are showing that it's not until after trick-or-treat time that we could be picking up a flurry or so in southern Ontario, but keep it tuned in here as the weather story unfolds. But in the meantime, it is chilly today. Temperatures have dropped significantly from yesterday. 10 11 degrees that's our high for today back to you inside and that can create bangs now what's known as a cold spot on the other hand is not believed to be caused by mother nature a living room where there's a cold spot and they walk over that area and all of a sudden their hair stands on end and they say that they can see their breath 